So what we're going to take a look at now is the concept of Angular root guards. At the moment, if we're not logged in, we can't see our links. But this does not stop us from accessing them directly. And if I was to go to the members link directly, then there's nothing to stop me from doing so and I can see the members list works. So what we'll do, just so we can test this functionality easily, is we'll go back to our nav component template and we'll remove this check so that we can see the links even if we're not authenticated just for this particular demonstration. So I can click on all of them even though I'm not authenticated. So what we're going to introduce here is the Angular root guard. So I'm just going to close the tabs at the top. And what we'll do inside our client, inside the app folder, we'll create another new folder and we'll call this one underscore guards. And then what we'll do, we'll open up the terminal and go to the session we're using to install various things. And we'll CD into our source and then the app and then the underscore guards folder. And we do have a template for this with the Angular CLI. So what we'll do is we'll say NGG and we need to use the full word for this. We'll say guard, that's what we want to create. And we're gonna call this guard auth and we're gonna skip the tests in here as well. And when we press return, we'll be presented with an option of which interface we would like to implement. Now, in this particular case, what we want to implement is the can activate, as in, can we activate this route or not? And that's the one we're going to use for our route guard. So we can go up and down this list and we can press space to choose whichever interface we want, but we only need this particular interface for this guard. So let's just press return and it goes ahead and creates this for us. So let's see what this has given us. And if we take a look in our guards folder, then we can see what we have here. Now, this is decorated with the injectable. We're not going to inject this into any of our components, but we don't need to do anything with it. We can leave that in place. And then we get the auth guard, which is a class which implements the can activate interface and this interface, if we take a look at its description, it's an interface that a class can implement to be a guard deciding if a route can be activated. If all guards return true, navigation continues. If any guard returns false, then navigation is cancelled. And what this is saying is we can have multiple of these. And if any one of the guards fails, then the whole thing fails. But we're just going to have one for now. Now, what we get access to inside here is the route that is being activated and the current state of our router. And for what we're doing, we don't actually need either of those. So we're going to remove a few things in here just to tidy it up so we can focus on exactly what we're doing here. Now, what we have following this is a list of different things that we can return from this guard. So what we can return from this is an observable of a boolean or a URL tree and we can either return a promise or just a simple boolean. Now if we go and take a look at our account service, the reason we set this up as an observable is so that this can be observed by other components or other classes in our application. And whenever something subscribes to this, then it's going to be notified if anything changes. Now this is the reason for using this particular observable in the first place. Our off guard is able to subscribe to this and I should mention by the way that when we use a guard it automatically subscribes to any observables. We don't need to specifically subscribe to that current user observable in here because the root guard is automatically going to do this when we try and access that particular property. So let's clean this up. What we want to return from this is an observable of a Boolean. So we don't need to have any of these other types inside here and we can simplify our guard to say that we're returning an observable that is a Boolean. Now we get an error here because true is not an observable, but that's fine. And what we also need inside this off guard is we're going to need a constructor 
so that we can inject our account service into this. So we'll say private account service and we'll specify account service and what we'll also bring inside here is the toaster as well and we'll say private toaster and toaster service and we need to close off the constructor with the curly brackets. So what we want to do is take a look inside our current user observable and see if there's something there. So what we can say is return list.accountService.currentUser.pipe because we're going to do something with this and we don't need to subscribe to it. So we're going to use the pipe in this particular case and we're going to use the map function as well and at this time we're allowed to auto import it from RxJS operators. So we've got the import for that inside here. Now what we want to do because our current user observable returns a user or it would do if we're subscribing to it but as I mentioned before because we're inside a router off guard it's going to handle the subscription for us itself. So we need to use the pipe and then the map in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to say user which is what our current user would return and inside this we're going to check to see if we have a user. And if we do, then we're simply going to return true. And notice this time that we don't get an error from when we're returning true, because this is actually an observable of true now, which matches the return type for the can activate method. Now, if we do not have a user, then what we're going to do is return a toast. And we're going to say this.toaster.error. And what you need to picture here is Angular is Gandalf and the unauthenticated user is the Balrog demon on the bridge of Khazad-dum and we're going to say you shall not pass exclamation mark. So what this is effectively going to do is protect our roots now or it will do once we configure our routing configurations. What we also need to do then is go to our app routing module and what we'll do is we'll just add this root guard for now just to our members component and what we can do is specify the can activate property and then we can pass this an array of our guards and we only have one so we're going to add our auth guard in here. Now if we go back to our browser what we'll find is that we can access our lists we can access our messages but if we try and access the matches then we get you shall not pass and our home page works everything works except for the one that we've added the root guard to which is exactly what we're looking for but we should also test to make sure that we can access this when we are logged in as an authenticated user and we don't get any problems we can see the member list works we can click around and that's all fine but as soon as we log out then we get redirected back to our home page and we can no longer access that particular route. Please do not think of this as security. There is no such thing as security on a client-side application but we do what we can to prevent users from doing certain things so long as they're using our application normally. So what we'll take a look at next is just adding a, a dummy root so that we can group things together and apply the same off guards to all of our components.